On Monday night, the U.S. military says two B-52 bombers like this one flew over the Senkaku Islands off Japan for training purposes. U.S. officials deny this flight was a response to Beijing's recent decision to try to control the airspace over the islands, islands which both Japan and China have long claimed as their own. This uh, unilateral action appears to be an attempt to unilaterally change the status quo in the East China Sea. Uh, and thus will raise regional tensions and increase the risk of miscalculation, confrontation, and accidents. Uh, we have uh, made this case uh, to uh, uh, made this case to China. On Saturday, Beijing declared the airspace over what it calls the Diaoyu Islands part of its Air Defense Identification Zone, or ADIS. It requires foreign aircraft to identify themselves before entering the zone or face possible military action. On Tuesday, a Chinese warship was seen on patrol in the nearby South China Sea. Well, it's, um, it's natural. It's indeed the right of every country to um, defend its airspace and also to make sure that um, uh, its territorial integrity, its sovereignty are safeguarded. But the U.S. says none of its aircraft, commercial or military, will comply. It says the airspace over these islands is international and no country can restrict access to it. What's more, officials reject suggestions that by conducting the training flight right now that they are getting involved. Even so, a former Obama administration official says Washington does want to send a message to Beijing. It's being watched. I mean, in many ways, too, there's a broader strategic game at play. We have the rising power, China, sort of acting like a classic rising power, which is challenging the status quo, despite Chinese rhetoric that they want a new form of great power relations. Well, this is as old, this is as old a form of great power relations as, as you can get, this kind of challenge. But it could be dangerous. So far, this dispute has involved ambassadors being summoned to foreign ministries to express their country's displeasure. The challenge for the U.S. is to regain its position as a neutral party in an area where its own national security interests come into play. Rosalind Jordan, Al Jazeera, the State Department.